friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is an intumescent cataract with very hard nucleus let us observe this surgery by this time the main incision and two side ports have been made and here goes an air bubble and now as i inject trip and blue dye i find that an area just in front of the left side board is getting de-stained very fast that means i have already pierced the anterior capsule there so i have to manage it somehow i wash the dye out then i inject 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now i have to include that area where i have already pierced the anterior capsule inside the mini rexus so here it is i could find out that area where i have pierced from there i just extended the tear and now with the help of this utita forceps i am doing this mini rexis and that point of piercing is inside this area and now my plan is to remove some cortical matter so that intra lenticular pressure reduces with the help of this 23g simco i am removing some cortical matter first i aspirated some cortex then just i am tapping onto the nucleus just gentle depressions or gentle balloting and see large chunks of cortex is coming out through the main incision gently rotating the nucleus and again another big chunk of cortex came out this is another one this is a huge nucleus and a lot of cortex have been hydrated increasing the intra lenticular pressure and now after injecting visco i make a oblique cut at around 8 o'clock is the utrata forceps again and go all around anti clockwise at this time i try to make the rexis large and round as round as possible and it, this has been a very satisfactory rexis quite adequate for this hard cataract and fairly round and now i have to divide this hard nucleus into several fragments the machine being used is faros from ortley faros with spip mode now after removing some cortex i turn the handpiece make the bevel up come near the main incision use a chopper to push the nucleus down and go into the substance of the nucleus go through the nucleus like a submarine towards the opposite equator as i reach near the opposite equator i make a 
big and very good crack. Rotate it 180 degree and the nucleus is completely divided into two halves. Each large heminucleus is subdivided into two large fragments. This is the other heminucleus. Always in such thick hard nucleus I go through the substance for a distance and when I am sure that I have held the lens mass very firmly then only I try chopping. Now each large fragment is emulsified if necessary they are again divided into two smaller parts like this one FECO power used in this case is 85% flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury chopping was done without speep mode and emulsification is being done in the speep mode and this is the last fragment the advantage of this peep mode is followability is excellent it's like a venturi system with speed mode all the time the piece will be around the aspirating port of the FECO handpiece and no running around of the nuclear fragments most of the time endothelial damage occurs because of hard nuclear fragments heating onto the corneal endothelium very frequently but with speed mode it will not occur this is cortical cleanup with a 23G Simco we can do this with bimanual or coaxial IA but if we catch the capsule response time with Simco is less than the response time with automated instruments it's very safe but if you are habituated to automated instruments you can continue it is up to you cortical cleanup is done nicely and now this is hydro polish there is an area at 3 o'clock where some lens fibers were not getting removed by the Simco so this has been mobilized by the irrigating proof and now with the help of Simco it has been removed yes and now cortical cleanup is complete friends we have to be meticulous in our surgeries protecting the very important cells like corneal endothelium and now this is a monofocal single piece intraocular lens and it has gone into the capsular bag
And now... The lens has been placed in such a way that the haptics are about 90 degree away from the main incision. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side port is nicely hydrated. And a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. At the same, whatever visco molecules get attached to the corneal endothelium, they come out. And the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very, very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.